Hey everybody, it's Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, coming at you from the Wicked Awesome Garden, and this is looking pretty bare and sad, don't you think? Well, that's because that is where my potatoes were, are. <laughs> they got pretty decimated by the potato bug attacks. We eventually did get rid of them, but it was just too late to save my poor plants. I'm nervous, you guys. I don't know what's gonna be coming up out of that ground because the plants are essentially gone. There's the remnants of a couple of them, but the potato bugs really did destroy them. And then the heat and the rain and me being sick and the more rain and then more rain, I'm worried that not only might there not be anything there in the first place because of the bug attacks, but I'm also worried that if something is in there that it started to rot from the rain. So I can't wait another day. We're getting those potatoes out of there if there's anything to be found. Cross your fingers, cross your heart, cross your legs, cross your toes, cross, cross your eyes. Don't cross your eyes, you'll get dizzy, you'll fall down. Before we go and dig those up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all of our videos. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment at the end because I love talking to you guys. So let's go ahead and see what's down there. I brought a couple of paper bags out of an abundance of hope. Let's see what we've got. All right, there was a plant here. So let's go ahead and dig it up. Carefully so we don't slice into anything. Uh, that is not helpful. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Well, then. Oh, 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 oh. We got one. Yeah, I haven't really weeded this too diligently in the last couple of weeks. Well, we've got one. <laughs> It's small. Those are rocks. I got a rock. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that one's. We got two. They aren't very big. That's not promising. <laughs> Let's see what we've got from this body. There's one. There's a little one. Another little one. Tiny baby one. Hey, we got a dinner. Lots of worms in this soil. Woohoo! All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'm getting, getting about three or four from from each plant. Not great, but not nothing so oh hey there we go that's a nice size one all right I'll take it because we've still got a few more plants to go
Well, that's about it for these white potatoes. Let's see what, if anything, we get from the red, which were the ones that were really, really bothered by those potato bugs. I think I'm gonna be much more disappointed over here. I've gotta be careful of the roots because my pepper plants are growing right next to them. And, ooh, all right, has a root system. Tiny baby potato. might not be altogether unsatisfying. Yeah, I've been a little lax in weeding this bed. Five degree weather maybe might not have been the best choice, but oh well. Wow, this harvest is going way better than I thought. the biggest one so far. Okay, now are those or are those not gardener hands? For all that we had a bug infestation, that is not a bad haul and better than I expected. All right. Now, mind you, I did not hill these potatoes once. I planted them in the trench, I left them, they grew. Now, once you've harvested your potatoes, your instinct may be to take them inside and wash them off, don't. Leave the dirt on them, unless you're going to cook them right away, then of course, clean them, eat them. New potatoes are delicious, but if you want to keep them for long-term storage, you wanna lay them out somewhere out of the sun, nice and cool, put a fan on them even if you can, keep some airflow going, lay them out so that they're not touching each other and let them cure for, I think it's about a week to two weeks, but I'm not entirely sure on that. I'm not curing these potatoes. I'm gonna eat them right up over the next couple of days. 
I've got more potatoes waiting upstairs. I'm gonna grow them the same way. So tomorrow I'm gonna throw them in the ground. I'm gonna dig a trench, gonna throw in some all-purpose garden fertilizer like Garden Tone and just throw them in there. I'm not gonna hill them. They are gonna do just fine. If you liked this video and you're as excited about this potato harvest as I am, yay, then go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how your potatoes are doing or if you've wanted to grow potatoes and just haven't been able to, but like I've got all sorts of tips and tricks for that. I've grown potatoes in ground. I've grown them in pots. What I like to do to grow them is get a 18 gallon, $5 tub from Walmart poke some holes along the bottom for drainage and around the bottom on the sides and then just fill it up with soil throw the potatoes in and leave them just water them and I've grown tons of potatoes that way you can too go ahead click that subscribe button give me a thumbs up give me a comment I'll see you in the next video bye bye